All right, guys, I have another uh, VOA for you. Uh, today, it's the Motormaster OE Plus 0W30. It's the European vehicle uh, oil. I'm going to flip the bottle over, and I will show you two interesting things. Um, I'm going to skip what they say they do or not, but made by Shell. It's one of them. And the other one, if you look way, way down here, it's made in Germany. Which I strongly suspect it's a Elix uh, oil. Uh, maybe it's hard to zoom in, but it's made in Germany. Uh, well, I don't want to waste too much time. I want to show you the numbers of the oil analysis. So, enough with that. All right. So, I... Not try to say I'm a big fan of Ams oil oil, and um, what we have here, um, I want to compare to probably the best. And honestly, I'm very impressed with the Motormaster Zero W30, which I'm pretty sure it's an Elix a Shell oil. This oil, one of the reasons I purchased it was almost half price with tax in and everything was 44 bucks. So it was basically 36 plus tax Canadian, we're talking Canadian dollars there, uh, for a five liter. So 5.2, uh, 5.25 quarts, uh, you know, which is, a, you know, I would say half price of a Amazon oil. So let's see the numbers quickly. Uh, regarding the metals, uh, you could see the Amsoil 0 W30 has none, and uh, Motormaster has one ppm of iron and aluminum, which is nothing. So let's go back to the contaminants. Um, again, very clean, the Motormaster. Uh, silicone, five at each, and actually sodium, there's two ppm less than the Amsoil. Metals. <clears throat> multi-source metals all right let's go directly to molly b um amzo with 130 and motormaster slash elix with 71 boron this is you know where amzo takes the cake here in my personal opinion with 232 versus 119 so Again, with what it's still very good. 119 boron, you know, my hats to Motormaster to import this oil, especially at the price they sell when they put them on sale. Uh, regarding the additives, uh, magnesium pretty at par with 12 versus 8. Uh, calcium, uh, you know, you got to be careful with calcium too much. Uh, it's not good for if you have a turbo manual car with the LSPI, uh, low speed pre-ignition. So watch out for that. Um, barium, there's none, which is good. Uh, phosphorus, pretty much even. Uh, 624 to Motormaster and AMZO with 652. And the zinc, um, you know, slight... A slight edge to Amsoil again with 763 and 718. Now, the, the CST, pretty good, both of them. 10 uh, for Amsoil, you know, 9.6 ish with the uh, Motormaster. And the Flashpoint, pretty even also with 450, 445. So you can see the Amsoil is slightly uh, edge the Motormaster. Uh, but for the price, the Motormaster, you know, very good. I made a, an older uh, 5W30 VOA in the past with the, their old line was called the Formula One Motormaster. Uh, for those who don't know, Motormaster is uh, a product that's um, sell at the Canadian Tires in Canada. Um, it's like a jobber type part. But uh, just like Kirkland, if you go to Costco, uh, if you want to know who makes the oil of Kirkland, just look at the pallets at beside of it. If it's, it's a Valvoline, so Valvoline supply uh, the oil for Kirkland. If it's uh, Castrol, it's going to be Castrol. So this is a, an arrangement between uh, big companies, big corporates, 
and uh, my hat to uh, Motormaster with Kane Tire to sell this oil again. Uh, OE and Shell made in Germany. So that really got my interest when I saw that. So that's one of the reasons I did VOA and I'm pretty sure nobody else does VOA from Motormaster Oil. So on that note, I hope this was interesting for some of you. And um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, on that note, uh, take care and good day.